okay, a, a factor and company is basically if you're a owner operator with your own authority, you use a factor company so you can get paid the same day. Otherwise, you have to wait up to 45 days to get paid from a broker. So you go through a factoring company and the factor company will go ahead and pay you and then they'll wait for the broker to pay them. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. No, no, nigga. You ain't a terrorist. I've been watching you. You have? You ain't watched behind your ears or nothing. But I did. Look at me. All right, so let's get started, man. Alonzo in the building. <laughs> Right, yes, so, yes, so, yes, 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 trucking. Hey, that's what's up, man. Before we get started, man, let me go um, let me go ahead and say I appreciate you coming on, chopping it up with me. I really do appreciate it. Uh go ahead and uh introduce yourself. Say your name, your age, your status in trucking, and where you from, my guy. All right. Uh this is Alonzo Richardson. Uh my wife is Roxanne Richardson. Uh we're team drivers. Uh, we own Rockville Trucking LLC. Uh, we hit our one year mark. Um, we were doing pretty good. Uh, that's another story with Freightliner that I'm going to get into with you. And um, I'm uh, 52 years old. My wife is 55 years old. And um, we're, we're going through a lot of stuff right now, man, mm -hmm. that we could talk about. Where are where you from? Where are where y'all where hell from? Uh, my. Well, we're out of uh, Marsville, Pennsylvania, about oh. 20 minutes from Philadelphia. Okay, okay. Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so uh, let's, let's jump into it, man. So uh, you reached out to me. Uh, you, you, you have a testimony. You have a testimony about a controversial company, Super Eagle. But before we, uh, touch, uh -huh. but before we touched on that, you mentioned uh, that you that you met uh, the popular female YouTuber. How how did that go? I mean, you know, how did y'all meet at the yard? Y'all met at at, at y'all met up at a at a shipper receiver. How, how did y'all come into contact? Oh no, actually, we were in the grocery store uh, behind Super Ego. There's a grocery store back there, and uh, she was in the grocery store. And she actually walked up to us. She walked up to my wife. And I was like, hey, you want a pink? And she said, yeah. And we all took a picture and everything. That's how we met her. She was there uh, going through her orientation. Um, we were there also going through our orientation, too. Oh, okay. So y'all yep. so, so y'all met up at the same time of, of going through orientation? Yep. All right. So yeah, basically you should do it. All right, so what 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 was your reasoning for uh picking super controversial company Super Eagle? Uh and before you answer that, was you already uh a owner op before you got with them? Okay, yeah, we were um owner ops with our own authority, had our own truck, had a paid off truck. And um, like I said, there's another story about that. The truck broke down and everything. And we actually worked for Super Ego um, about five years ago when they were at another location and they were a little smaller. They were running uh, Rex trucking. They were running Floyd. They were running Windy City that a lot of people don't know about. Oh, and I back yeah, then, Windy City. Yeah, I called them. Yeah. I called that's, them. That's them. That was them too. Oh my God. I did a, I did an episode. I, I did an episode. Somebody uh somebody uh re re uh requested the you know to call Windy City. I called them up uh -huh. and uh and actually I had a good conversation, but that was yeah. that was super eagle. Yes, it was. Absolutely. <sighs> Okay, okay, Absolutely. that's good to that's good to know. All right, go ahead, continue. Um you up in that room? Um, no, I said go ahead and continue, but I, I was about to say go ahead and uh continue with your story. Yeah, so uh we ran with them back then and man, we made some good money, made some good 
money with them. And then we left them and we went to Landstar with our own truck. We went to Landstar with our own truck. Landstar is a very good company, very, very good company, owner of our company, very good. And um, we had to leave Landstar and we uh, started running our own authority. We started running our own authority. And like I said, another story that our truck broke down. So that's why we went back to Super Ego, not knowing that how they are now. Like they're like, um, every, everything has changed. Everything has changed. Okay. And so um, they're not, they're, what, they're just, what, what yeah. happened, what, what happened to the truck? And I mean, did you guys try to, you know, get it repaired or what, what happened? God damn, Jimmy, this some serious going made shit. Me and Vincent would have been satisfied with some freeze dried taste his choice, right? <laughs> and he springs this serious gourmet shit on us. What flavor is this? Knock it off, Chewy. What happened with the truck was that um, we had got it, uh, we had went for a PM over at Freightliner where we live at. And um, they told us that we should get the rods and mains and bearings done because it had a lot of miles on it, almost a million miles on it. So we agreed to it. And we're headed out to uh, Oregon, and we stopped at a truck stop in Wyoming, and all the fuel was just leaking out like crazy. I have videos on that. All the fuel is just leaking out like crazy. So we uh, we were about 20 miles away from another freight liner um, down in Wyoming. So we stopped there, and uh, long story short, we're in a hotel about a week they call us up say hey the truck is done we leave 70 miles later it shuts down the whole truck just shuts down so we get back to the shop and uh, a couple of days later they call us up and say hey it's your uh crankshaft is bad your crankshaft is bad thirty thousand dollar repair bill Thirty thousand, and we just spent twenty one thousand getting the truck fixed. Bro, so that's another stop. thirty thousand. Bro, so, hold, hold yeah. up, hold, hold up, right quick. Hold, <laughs> hold, hold, hold up, right quick, man. Back, back it up, back it up. Hold up. Yeah. Let 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 the people okay. know. Let let the people know in the back. Uh, about uh, about the maintenance deal on trucks, man. Because it seems as though that these people that's jumping in. Calling themselves owner operators, not realizing the extent of maintenance uh, to take care of a truck. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with me that maintenance would make or break an owner op? Absolutely. Maintenance is everything. Everything. From the tires to the shocks, everything. Maintenance is top priority. Absolutely. Mm. So you you Absolutely. you you said in the background that uh you know Freightliner came back to you 32 32k for the for the repair but you mentioned that y you guys are going through a thing with Freightliner though. Yes, we are going through a little issue with Freightliner. Um, on one of my videos, you can watch it, Freightliner Part 2, it clearly uh, indicates the um, service advisor there actually said that we can go anywhere across the country if there's any problem on their repair. And okay. that was the problem on their repair. It was the fuel rail that they never installed correctly. The fuel rail failed. So that's why all the diesel was leaking out. And the truck could have caught on fire. As well, okay. So that's yeah, man, so we, that's yeah. where y'all so that's where y'all concentrating the issue at right there. Not not the crankshaft issue, but the initial issue that brought you into the Freightliner in the first place. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. 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 Yeah. All right. So fast forward. Yeah. Uh, you and your wife. Uh, I guess y'all at a hotel. Y'all trying to. You're trying to figure something out. The truck's going to be down for a hot minute. Uh, so uh -huh. you said uh, you you did good with controversial company Super Eagle before. 
why not why not give him a why not give him another shot so you went back uh you went back to them uh tell mm-hmm. us tell us your experience with them now uh so going back with them we're not with them now but going back to them um the whole process is like very shady it's very shady uh it's very quick very very quick from safety to the eld to everything that there's um teaching you about it's very quick and as soon as you get there they just run you right to a truck you go right out to the yard just go ahead and pick a truck it's whatever truck doesn't stay sold on it then you can just get right in the truck and as a process is like it's, it's, it's very quick it's not they didn't feel comfortable this time at all So you say as soon as y'all came in the door, they just say, yo, let's just hurry up and get you in the truck and, and sing you out to the wolves, huh? Right, right. Send us out to the wolves and unbeknownst to us, man, we went out the first week. Uh we made a little money. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, we made uh three thousand dollars net to take home. And then after that, we started being in the negative. In the negative. Okay, so how how is that possible, bro? Going from three thousand dollars one week to being uh-huh. to to being in the red the following weeks? What what that? Now you know a couple of people probably might come back in the comment session and say something to the effect that, huh. well, maybe y'all didn't take you know y'all didn't do y'all money right or y'all didn't know uh-huh. how to uh, how to uh, get dispatch properly. You know, so what what yeah. happened? Well, what happened was, was that we actually switched our dispatcher. We switched our dispatcher. The first dispatcher we had told me that he never dealt with a team truck before. Now, right there, but that's the issue right there. You never dealt with a, tr- with a team truck before, so how do you know how to run us? He didn't know how to run us, so we got another dispatcher. Same thing. He didn't know how to run us at all. And like Pinky said, she was sitting out there in California. We sat out, man, I don't know how many days, about four or five days with them. Cool. Nothing at all. At all. That's not cool. No, that isn't. You know, not, that's not, 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 for, not, not for a team driver. I mean, not for team drivers, yeah. no. I mean, you right. guys, you right. guys are supposed to be constantly moving. That's... Exactly, that's our wheels of, don't bro. stop. That's right. That's unheard of, man. That's crazy. So you got right. two. So you got two inexperienced dispatchers that 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 honestly, yep. I mean, they I mean, they they did not have no experience or nobody that knew how to operate a team driver. What what what, what is that? Well, at this point, it was uh, we were there for three weeks, and we said we're leaving. So we didn't even want to deal with it no more because that was enough for us. I was, I was, I was. It was just enough. So when you told them, you no, know, and when, um, when, you, when you told them, you was like, "Yo, I'm out. I'm about to bounce." Did they, you know, did they try to try to make amends with you? Try to try to get it right with you, or they was like, "Cool, we got other people in the winds." Bye. Ah, uh, that's a good question. When we told them that we were leaving them, uh, they just said, bring the truck back. Bring the truck back. And that's what we did. Brought the truck back. Wow. And uh, we were all ready with, with another company, so we just dropped the truck off and went on with the company we're in now. Wow, yep. bro. Sorry to, sorry to hear yeah, that, but man. thank you for... Uh... Thank you for sharing your testimony. I mean, it's a lot, it's it's unfortunate uh, that yeah. you know it's unfortunate that happened to you, and I'm I'm glad you guys was able to uh, you know to to make up you know from not getting too far in the red with the company. But let me ask you this though: right. uh, uh, now you yeah. say now on on the strength of you already working there, uh, you know, uh, years ago. Was that, did you by chance take any, uh, you know, take uh, what 
the re, uh, the reviews and the videos that's out there? Did you take that into account, or you just, or you just said to yourself like, yo, since we worked there, we, you know, they might treat us different because we was already there with them for five years and we made money. You know, did you, you know, do that, or did you just went there on the strength? Actually, we just went there on the strength. We just went there on the strength, um, hoping that, uh, you know, we can recoup the money that we lost with our truck and just recoup the money. And they just don't know how to dispatch. What? I don't need you to tell me how fucking good my coffee is, okay? I'm the one who buys it. I know how good it is. When Bonnie goes shopping, she buys shit. I buy the gourmet expensive stuff because when I drink it, I want to taste it. But you know what's on my mind right now? It ain't the coffee in my kitchen. It's the day. Especially a team. They just don't know how to dispatch at all. And um, I know you heard this before about them. Um, they don't even give you a Raycon. All you get is a dispatch sheet. That's all you get. Right. It's a, it's a dispatch sheet. So from right there, you know what they're doing. I'm not going to say it, but you know what they're doing. Exactly. That's all you get is, is, is like a little quick dispatch sheet. And... um. Also, what I found out from the second dispatcher is that they use a factoring company. Mm. How are you a mega carrier and you're using a factoring company? Okay, now now hold up right uh -huh. quick. Uh, hold, hold, yeah. on. hold on, we're on button. No uh, hold, hold up right quick. Hit me to that because this is the first, first in my... My years mouth. of driving ever heard of something like that so mm -hmm. um Absolutely. For the, including my, for the people that don't know including myself explain to me what that is what's a factoring company yes okay a, a factoring company is basically if you're a owner operator with your own authority you use a factor company so you can get paid the same day. Otherwise, you'll have to wait up to 45 days to get paid from a broker. So you go through a factoring company, and the factor company will go ahead and pay you, and then they'll wait for the broker to pay them. So, That's a factoring company. So this is so this is what Super Ego is using, and not you guys per se. Right there. Right, the dispatcher told me that they use a factoring company to pay their drivers. Okay, which so, is but you guys, right? But you guys don't get paid the same day. Y'all, y'all get paid a settlement at the end of the week, but Super Eagle right. get paid the same day, right? I believe no, I, I believe Super Eagle gets paid. They. Who pay the driver for the load at that week? At the at the at the end of the week, they right. will pay that driver, right. and then they have to get reimbursed from the broker. Okay, 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 okay. All right, right. That's 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 what they're doing, which is not right. They should not be using a factoring company at all. Right. Okay. Okay. That's a mega carrier. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's. I mean, that's what's up, man. I mean, you know, here on the Recruiter Call Channel, we we give the panel. Uh, you know, we give our platform to, you know, drivers like Alonzo here, you know, to, you know, to share his testimony. And of course, you know, this is his testimony on his experience with the controversial company, uh, Super Eagle. So, you know, you guys in the comments, I, I know, you know, where y'all at, but, you know, again, this is just, you know, another driver with his experience, uh, knowing that they was there five years prior and made money with the company. So it wasn't like they was coming in blindfolded. They came back in, just like he said, on the strength of already right. working there and already making money with them. But now it, 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 it just, it just turned to shit for you guys, huh? Yep. So to speak. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Yo, I mean, that. I mean, that place is horrible, man. It's like you walk in there, it looks like a concentration camp. You walk up in there. Um, I'm not going to say the guy's name, but you know, he made a video which yeah. he recently yeah. shut down uh, because of, you know, who I'm talking about. 
Wait, no, no, that video is <laughs> not shut. No, bro. No, bro. Hold, hold on, oh, bro. Yes, no, is. no, bro. Yes, no, bro. That video, yep. that video should still be up, bro. Hold on. No, it's not. Are you? No, no it's not. Hold on, bro. Oh, hold on, nope. bro. Hold on, bro. Hold, okay. Hold, hold on. <laughs> hold on, my okay. guy. Hold okay. on. God, this coffee smells like shit. Yeah, shut it down. No yep. way, bro. Bro, he's guys. He shut he's it not, down. He's not kidding. I'm. <laughs> he's not kidding. It's nowhere. Is no. He's not kidding, uh, guys. It's yeah, it's going. It's not it's going. It's not up. Stop the show. So right quick, I just wanted to stop this edit right quick. This conversation took place uh, in 2022. All right. That was uh, the conversation that I had with Alonzo. And at the time when we was conversating, we both went back to that particular YouTuber's page to find said video. I, I did a reaction video on on a YouTuber that went up to controversial company Super Ego and I threw out the question was he paid to come up there to promote the company at the time like I said before this was back in 2022 but as of now the controversial company video is back up on his page Nope. Oh my God. Because even, it was fake. Even the video he, even the video that he made afterwards, because you know, I I I did a reaction uh -huh. video. Even the video that he uh -huh. made afterwards talking about, you know, that he don't receive any any monetary value for, you know, for uh -huh. for the 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 company. That's right. That's not up there either. No, not at all. It was all fake. Well, let me ask. Let, uh, let me ask you this, man. Does that does that right there? Does that right there? Would that change the integrity of that channel? Would, in your opinion? In my opinion, yes. Somewhat, to a certain extent, but yes. I think it does change it. Um, because of all the topics that were talked about in that video um, was to um, make that company look as though they're something else than what they really are. You know what I'm saying? Wow. That's all it was. Yeah, man, that's all it was. I uh as I as I said before in in my in my reaction video to it, um as I said before, they they did reach out to me. They they did reach uh -huh. out be, before I, you know, before I changed the, you know, the name of the channel uh when it was uh -huh. the Lockout Man podcast show, which Technically, it still uh -huh. is. Y'all, y'all still know me at that, but the you know what? That's that's a whole nother story. Whatever. Y'all already know the story. But anyway, I um I was I, I was approached by them to uh -huh. to promote them, and I I almost uh -huh. I almost accepted their small amount uh a small amount and i almost accepted it and i was going to do it mm -hmm. you know i was going to i was going to do it different i was going to but in the email that i got they wanted before i they well i was they said go ahead and make the video the way you make the video how you make the video whatever whatever let them know what we got to offer yada 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 and i told her in the email what? that i was going to be like well I'm not going to be biased. I mean, I, I am going to let the people know, you know, the, of the controversy that you guys have. 
you know, as well right. as what you guys offer. I got another email back saying, well, can you keep that part out of it? And I was like, well, uh -huh. I was like, well, I, I said, I, I said, I don't think so because I said, you guys know what my channel was about. You guys seen maybe about, I got maybe about 10 plus people testimonies about their not so good experience with you guys. So I can't, right. I can't come back and be like, Oh, well, you guys is the best thing ever and all like that. Right. There my, you go. My integrity, you know, my integrity will be in the question. You know, people will be like, right. they'll come to me and be like, well, lockout. You you got all these people over here talking about how bad Super Ego is and all like that. But yet here you are accepting money because they will see accepting money right. for for this company. And I was like. And I was telling them that in the email, and then they came, you know, we tried to come back and forth. Then I was like, well, look, if you want me to do all of that, I'm not going to bullshit you. If you want me to do all of that, you're right. going to have to come out of the pocket. You're going to have to come out of the pocket. And they was like, well, mm -hmm. well, I, I think what we, what we kind of like uh, offers you is, is where we're at. So when I... Don't get me wrong. I, I'm i going to, when I saw the video of, uh, uh -huh. of the, uh, the official trucking channel, I saw the video uh -huh. and everybody in his comment session was like vicious. They was going off on him. Like, dude, they, right, they was right. not letting up. They was like, bro, you did the video for the money, bro. You know how bad yep, they are, go. bro. This, that, and the uh, third. And I figured to myself, like, yeah, I think that would would have been the backlash that I would have got, right? Right. But I would have, right. but I would have got paid good to be like, yeah, okay, uh -huh. I'm good with that. And then when he made <laughs> when he right. made the when he made the backup video, talking about that he was offered about 20k to you know 20k to 25k which i mean i right. I, be, I believe it i i believe that you know what i'm saying because i mean he got he got over 3000 subscribers and right you know getting on his channel you know putting you know putting the word out on his channel would probably be a good thing for you know a carrier such as their their status, try to turn their negative status into a good status. And that's, I guess that's what they call themselves doing. And when he uh -huh. claims that he don't accept that, that's when I can't, that's when I called, I guess you could say that's when I call cap because uh -huh. I know, I, I know you don't drive no more, bruh. I know you put 100% into your channel. I feel you on that. I'm 100 with percent with you on that, but right. if you came all the way up to Florida in the cold ass in I mean Illinois for free, I'm I'm uh -huh. I'm, find, I'm finding it hard to believe, bro. Right, right. There was something to it. Absolutely, there was something to it. Absolutely. And now, yep. and and now to come to find out that the video is no longer up. Yep. Yeah, that's. We took it down. Yeah, I, I don't know, that's bro. That's crazy, right? Yeah. I don't know, bro. Yeah, that, I mean, you know, like I said, I you know, I I like the channel. I still like his channel. I still rock with him. I I just right, right. I you know I still rock with him. But you know, like I said, I I ask your opinion, you know, on uh on 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 that, you know, on the integrity of you know taking the video down. But right. I I mean, you know, now I don't know. I mean did you yeah. didn't you why you take the video down? You know exactly why did you take it down? Because there's something wrong with it. Can I take your order? Can I get a tall chai? A uh, large black coffee. A what? Large black coffee. Do you mean a venti? No, I mean a large. He means a venti. Yeah, the biggest one you got. Venti is large. No, venti is 20. There was something wrong with it. It wasn't true. It was not true. Everybody was talking positive. 
Mm-hmm. Nobody said nothing negative. The whole video was everything positive. Mm-hmm. And that's not reality over there. Well, you know, that's that's what they well, listen, you know, the 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 to uh to support that for a little bit, of course, uh, of, of course we're not gonna we're not gonna talk negative about the company. We're gonna want all positivity. Right. So that's basically and I, I guess that's another thing too, because you know, uh his channel is all about positivity and i give him that all about positivity all about helping truckers all about getting the news right. all about getting uh you know the psas out there and all like that but right. that's what i was explaining to people when i did my reaction video to it uh you know everybody thought that i was like you know being i was like no no i said my style is totally different from his i I probably would have been in what I, I probably would have been like, like, uh, 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 like the hard pressed person that I am. Like, yeah, well, we see that uh-huh. we see everything good, but tell us about all of the bad things that these drivers is talking about. So, are you guys really augmenting the ELDs? Yes, and put the microphone in her face. You know what I'm saying? That's me. Oh, yeah. That's me. That's me. You know, he's all about, like I said, right. the, the cookie cutter, the the nice guyness and all like that. Wait, everybody, this guy started this from a Domino's. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Me, right. I, right. I would have been, right. I w- I been different. I would have been like, yo, bump the Domino's like. What about what's going on right now? You know, how about you having this driver yeah. stuck all the way out in 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 California for eight days? Why why y'all couldn't get get your driver home? <laughs> you know, that's right. that that would have been me. But it is right. you know it is you what know it why is. too? You know why? Because they um they get the bottom of the barrel of all the loads. They get the bottom of the brow because their safety ratings is not that great. And the top-notch brokers, so to speak, they don't want to work with them. They do not work with them. I mean, the loads we were getting were like for like um for like a newbie. And we're a team truck. We were getting loads for like a newbie. You know? Mm. Crazy. Wow. Well. Yep. Alonzo, man, thank you. I I enjoyed this conversation, man. Thank you very much for. Throw it on, bro, man. Throw it on, man. <laughs> thank you man, for coming your on. Is hot. Hey, I appreciate yeah, you, bro. Man. Thank you very much. Uh, let, yep. you know, let's get back together. You know, let's catch up. Uh, yeah. you know, after the holiday. Well, not after the holidays, but you know, when you get back good, you know, let's uh let's catch back yeah, up and see where you at. Yeah. And speaking yeah, man, of New Year, you, man. and speaking of New Year, Happy New Year, bruh. And uh and wish you much more wish wish you and your wife much success in the future, bruh. All right, man. Uh, back at you too, you and your family. And uh man, we're gonna stay in touch. Big G's got it locked, boy.